Good evening, Silent Witness here. Um, once again, I have heard uh, that there is something going on in the world today that I was not aware of even an hour ago, but now I know it, it's happening, and apparently it's been going on for over a year now, and it has to do with uh, the uh, global citizen movement that's suddenly emerging and uh, how it seems to be uh, solving all the world's problems and just basically uh, good stuff all around and uh, this is a picture or an article here that I found uh, it says it's talking about global citizenship your global goals by the way this picture right here is a bunch of bull because the earth doesn't look like that uh, but the article says, this is how the world changes. <clears throat> a goal, a committed group of people, and a plan to connect them. Uh, this is what the world has now. Global citizens have been committed to the goal of ending extreme poverty for years. This has not changed. What is now, what is new, is that the committed group of people, global citizens like you, <clears throat> not me, buddy, have a worldwide plan to end extreme poverty and it's called the global goals and here we have a picture of 17 goals that they intend to do away with somehow uh the first one is uh, no poverty second no hunger third good health four Fan, uh, quality education. Five, gender equality. <clears throat> Six, clean water and sanitation. Seven, uh, renewable energy. Eight, good jobs and economic growth. Nine, innovation and infrastructure. Ten, reduced inequalities. <clears throat> 11 sustainable cities and communities 12 responsible consumption 13 climate action 14 life below water what in the world 15 life on land oh okay they're talking about nature 16 peace and justice and 17 partnerships for the goals and you notice they use a rainbow different colors you say well what's wrong with this it sounds really really good so far I mean all these things are like major problems in the world today and yes they are but as a born-again Christian I have to tell you the only cure for all this stuff is Jesus Christ now this global citizen is a bunch of bull and I have no intention of joining it and I know that this is propaganda for now and they're just trying to get us used to it and people are already joining it and they say that the celebrities and the well-known people the high high hope <laughs> high profile people are all getting involved well, that's because of one thing, people. It's because they're under Satan. Satan is the author of this. He's the author of the New World Order. He is the progenitor of, oh, you can have a good time. You can have all you want. But he never tells you the end result. This is a Wikipedia I'm sorry, Google. It says, at the Global Citizens Initiative, we say that a global citizen is someone who identifies with being part of an emerging world community and whose actions contribute to building this community's values and practices. In other words, if you're one of the sheeple and you like the celebrities and you see they're all doing good and, you know, all these goals are, they sound good to you, and you're going to say, say to yourself, I want to join this. I want to be part of this. Well, I feel sorry for you, friend.
because you have no idea what you're getting into. This is Satan's work. This is the devil. And you say, well, how does the devil want to uh, combat hunger and uh, uh, gender equality? I can understand gender equality from the, from the devil. But all this other stuff, uh, no, no poverty, etc. These problems are in the world because of sin. You have to realize that. God's word says we are sinners. And as long as we are sinners, we are living in a sinful world. And we are going to have these problems. And no amount of human activity or humanistic garbage is going to cure any of these, let alone all of them at once. So I would advise you right now, <clears throat> just be on your guard. Don't, just because something looks good, doesn't mean it is good. Okay? God's word is more powerful and higher than this. The, and the New World Order is pushing this, trying to get everybody on the bandwagon of joining the uh, global citizenship and yada, yada, yada. It's a bunch of bull. Don't believe it. Read your Bible. You need to get saved, first of all. You need to become a child of God, and then you will see through all this satanic rigmarole, and you will not fall victim to his lies. So that's all I'm going to say. You do what you want with your life. I'm just here to warn you, and good night and God bless.